it's Marina, travel experta, and today we're going to be talking about Antigua Green School in Antigua, Guatemala. Are you guys ready for an adventure? Let's begin. So here's the secret, guys. We, my family and I, have literally been living in Guatemala this whole time because of Antigua Green School. Why is that? Because this is one of the most special schools out there. It has always been super important for me to send my kids to a really progressive type of alternative school. Antigua Green School is located in Azotea Farm, La Azotea Finca, and I have an entire podcast talking about that. It is a hundred, more than a hundred acre farm, and the school is located on the actual farm. So the entire, they literally have their playground where they do physical, uh, their phys ed classes and their explorations right on the farm. That alone is so special. The, the majority of the classes, I would say actually not the majority, all of the classes pretty much are held the majority of the times outdoors because it is located on this farm. And, the, and they are, if they're inside the classrooms, they all have these beautiful they're completely full made fully of windows, classrooms. They, it is a very hands-on school where the teachers are treated, treat the kids equally as themselves. It's where their friends is this alternative situation. It is literally one of the most special community style schools, very inclusive. It's not expensive. It's a hundred percent bilingual as well, which made that a very important thing for me. So everything is 50, 50 in Spanish, 50% in English. It is green school. So it's very ecologically centered and they really focus on making it a green school that it's, very friendly. The community, the parents really work together to make it an international community. The majority of the kids that go to the school are always are bilingual and most of them are even trilingual. I mean, this, I know a lot of people wonder what school should I send to if I move to Antigua or if you are living here. To us, this has always been the number one school. And I cannot believe that other people want to send their kids to other schools. There are other schools like AIS, Antigua International School. But it's literally sending your kids to a U.S.-style system with just maybe one hour of Spanish per day. And I have yet to see a lot of the kids that don't know Spanish coming out of their learning Spanish. So if you're going to be making it to Guatemala why not give your kid the gift of Spanish? Antigua Green School is a Cambridge system, so you do get a Cambridge diploma. Then there's also other schools, obviously. Antigua Montessori is another really popular school. But the fact that Antigua Green School is located on this farm, they do the majority of their classrooms outdoors. They hang out outdoors. They're small classrooms. My kids had always had between three to five teachers, my oldest, who is the pioneer, who graduates, the very first graduating class, had six kids in his class. My youngest, which has the bigger class, has 20 kids in the class, but they split them up into two groups. There's four teachers. There's a lot of personal attention. And it's just this community, this, and they have outdoor recreational activities every single day. This is the most important thing. The schools today are barely allowing the kids to run around, to be kids, to get in touch with nature. Gardening is an important factor of their learning. Understanding manual things to do on top of their regular curriculum. If you guys are interested, I am happy to give you more information because my kids, like I said, my oldest was the grad, the first very first graduating class. We have been one of the old, longest uh, people in that school. And my youngest has been as well there since he was five years old. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know. You could go to my site, travelexperta.com, travelexpertwithana.com. And I have lots of other cool expat ideas for you guys. You could throw me any questions you want. And remember, if you enjoyed this podcast, please leave me a review and make sure to share it with your friends. And if you have any questions, I'm here. And remember to make every day an adventure.